so you did all the work to learn your pentatonic scales uh you got the different boxes and you can wail on this wicked blue solo but how do you end it how do you wrap it all up well you got to have a good turn around uh, and if you're going to play multiple solos or if you're just jamming around the house you need several different turnarounds that you can vary with so here's just a couple that i've learned one works really well for a slow blues and the good news about both of these is that they're movable you can put them in any key and all you gotta do is look for the root it's on the b string the roots on the b string and so i'm going to show you this in a but you can move it anywhere so uh you start out find the a on the b string so that's the 10th fret here and i'm going to put my pinky on the 10th fret and put my ring finger on the ninth and blues rhythms are tricky to ride out uh, if you look at it it looks really weird but if you listen to it you're like yeah that's that's the blues the way i tabbed it out here is in 12 8 so all of these are like triplets kind of with the space in the middle sometimes you'll see it with a, a quarter note and uh for the first note and an eighth note for the last. It's hard to write out the rhythm, but you know what it is that you, you, you know that rhythm as a bluesy kind of rhythm. Uh, and so you get these triplets that you want to put in your, in your turnaround. So you start out right here and there's your A and you can move it anywhere. Whatever key your song starts in, whatever chord your song starts with, find that note on the B string and you can do this turnaround. You can you can do it in E right here. You can do it in B up here, B flat. Uh, it, G would be right here. Wherever that opening chord is, you find that note on the B string. That's your root, that's your tonic, and it works. So here we go. And you kind of walk down. So from nine. And then I like to hammer on that A seventh. And so that gives you this nice and so that's one way to end it another way if your song's a little faster uh, if you get a more medium to fast tempo you still are starting on that a find that a that's your root and except this time you're gonna walk up so one of the first one was descending you're walking down from nine eight seven six this one's going to walk up from nine. So you got your second finger on the 10th fret and you got your first finger on the first string on the ninth fret and you're going to walk it up in half steps. And, and this one, uh, you're just keeping that rhythm going. So it looks kind of weird, but it's. So that's a fun ending. You can move that one around. It works in any key. If you want to do it in E. works right there if you want to do it uh, in G right here and that ending I'm kind of I'm sliding up to the the fifth chord so if you're in a that's gonna be an E you know that's down here on the 12th fret and it's like I'm making the bar chord but just the, the bottom three notes and so I'm kind of sliding into that so again So those are just a couple of fun turnarounds. I'll play them a few more times for you. It'll really help you get it in your head. Uh, and if you want the tabs, uh, there's a link in the description. It takes you to my Patreon page and you can download that. I'm working on a backing track uh, with some basic rhythm and that you can jam to there's tons out there go look up some uh but you know you got to find uh, what you want what suits your style you can record your own uh or get a looping pedal uh but there's tons of them out there on youtube so just look look for the key that you're in and you can do medium or slow or fast blues and find whatever key you're in there's tons of stuff out there uh but that that's there's that slow one And then the fast one. 
All right. Hey, I'm just a dad guitarist playing in the basement, sharing what I've learned over the years. Uh, it's a lot of fun doing this. Subscribe to my channel if I've helped you along. Uh, unlike the big YouTubers who make a living at this, I can answer your comments. So leave me a comment and let me know uh, if you have a question, if there's something that I can help you with, I'll be glad to. Uh, this is fun for me. So subscribe, like, leave a comment. It helps me know uh, what to do next and it helps me help you <laughs> keep playing.